Yo, yeah, what is going on guys, the Yorkshire Biker here um, So yeah, it's obviously not ideal conditions for doing a vlog But uh, I've had to move the microphone's location in the helmet So it's basically just a test So um, before I had a, uh, a windsock and the microphone was taped to the, the very front of my mouth I found that it was uh, the audio was a little bit too loud so when I was editing it I have to turn it down so now I've got rid of that and I've just stuffed it inside the uh, inside the padding so we'll see how good it actually is I've never been one for just sticking it in the padding because I think it used to uh, I used to find it just dull it out a little bit too much to be fair but who knows we'll give it a try um, maybe before the microphones are a bit faulty who knows it's, uh, it's also getting extremely cold you know it's cold because even I'll put my winter gloves on I've got my uh, I've got them on now so it's uh, <laughs> it's a little bit on the chilly side the noise of a quick shifter <laughs> can't get over it I've had it quite a while now and I, uh, I love it still uh, but yeah anyway while we're testing the microphone um, I'm not so happy with the police to be fair I don't know if I've mentioned it before um, but during summer I think it will back in May uh, so it's quite a few months ago now uh, a car pulled out on me and my friend. We had gone for a ride. I think it was actually going um, on Calm Bikers' infamous a calm ride. Number two. It must have been number two. It went up round. Uh, what you call it? It went up North Yorkshire somewhere. I can't remember the name. Ribled Viaduct, up. That were it. Uh, so we're on his way up there, and it started raining. Obviously my, uh, my friend didn't have, well it's not obvious like, but my friend didn't have his waterproofs and I didn't want to just leave him and let him turn around and make him ride back all the way on his own he, to be fair he didn't know where we were going uh, so we turned around and we headed towards York um, long, cut long story short a car pulled out on us we were going down a, just a single track road uh, well, there were a lane either way um, and a car pulled out of a junction uh, I was on the Triumph at the time, I had to slam the brakes on Nearly crashed into the side of him Now, maybe I shouldn't have turned around, but Who knows um, I weren't going to cause trouble or anything like that, I just wanted to you can see what his problem were to be fair See why he pulled out on us uh, But anyway, turned around, uh, went after the didn't chase after the car so we just followed it waited for it to be safe um, and we just tried stopping not actually said and done a thing to this car driver uh, but he's reported it to police uh, police investigated it there's no sort of road crimes being committed no uh, no dangerous driving or anything like that so I'm safe on that side but because the driver wasn't happy with the decision the police um, have decided they want to reinvestigate it and they've had another officer look at it now there were two officers originally two officers originally decided there was uh, there's not enough of anything been done to basically charge me with doing something um, whether that be any road crimes or what a dickhead uh, any road crimes or any uh, just basically any offence um, but some of the up his own arse copper uh, has viewed this and he's saying that there's because there's obviously dash cam footage of this from this car driver I didn't do it wrong so I, I weren't that bothered uh, but this car driver has apparently got enough footage to have me done for section 4 public order now I've not actually done anything wrong all I did is pull in front of his car and stopped basically I stopped and got off the bike I didn't get a chance to go up to the car or anything like that uh, but the police have seen that that's enough evidence to have me done for pub um, public order section 4 Which I think is a bit bollocks to be fair, it's a load of bullshit um, But anyway 
while I were on my way to work, I've had a car driver go through a red light and nearly take me off. And uh, I've had that on footage, took it to the police, and they basically said we're not interested. I don't know why, but um, obviously I took the footage into the police station on the camera, and they won't, they weren't allowed to plug it into their uh, their computers. Um, an officer said he was going to come out and view it on a laptop that I've got. Nobody been out, so I chased it up. Um, chased them up. I was told the case were closed because there was insufficient evidence when I've actually got this footage on a memory card still and it's on my laptop so the evidence is there they've just not sent anybody out to look at it um, obviously I wanted to make a complaint about that the officer that was going to come out eventually gave me a ring and he said he's on holiday um, he'll try and have a look at it when he gets back but he don't think that there's uh, there's much that they're going to be able to do and they said he'd have to seize my laptop now, I've not done anything wrong. I shouldn't have to have my laptop seized. They could have the footage, by all means, but they're not having the laptop. Um, and again, I think they've closed it off. I've not heard from them for ages, so I'm due to chase it up. But what bugs me is the fact that if somebody on a bike does something wrong or does something towards a car driver that they're not happy with, then the police will chase them and chase them and chase them until obviously something gets done but when it's the other way around when it shows on the other foot the, the police don't seem to care now whether it's just me or not I don't know but every time I've reported something to the police it's always been pretty much the same uh, they'll, they'll gladly try and get us done for something but when it comes to supporting us there's, uh, there's not a lot that they want to do There, Mr. Old Merc. Uh, so yeah, just a little bit of a uh, bit of a rant, let you know what's happening. Uh, not a lot as such in my personal life or anything like that. It's just work mainly. Uh, working Monday to Friday, doing the normal job, um, and I've been trying to get back into plastering as well. So we've been advertising that and doing that with my dad. It is slowly picking up, but obviously it takes its time. It could take a good two or three years for that to pick up properly and. Uh, provide enough income for me to rely solely on that so we'll see how that goes I have got to teach my dad to plaster as well <laughs> so it's, uh, I mean he helps out doing other stuff and he helps out doing most of it it's just the uh, the plastering part he can't do And I've got a squeaky brake, it's doing my tits in. Just on a, a mission at a minute, not going anywhere in particular. As I say, I'm just testing the microphone, so uh, I'm just riding about. I like a nice chilled out ride on an evening. Uh, but anyway, I think I'll end it there. It's, uh, I don't want to bore you too much. So hopefully the audio's okay. I like to have uh, clear vocals and then a bit of uh, a bit of engine noise.
so anyway if you like it uh, hit the thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, you need to also click the little bell notifications uh, with YouTube's new rules people can uh, they'll be uploading footage but your subscribers won't be getting notified of it so if you hit the bell button uh, you will get a notification every time I upload it's not been very often but I do try and work on it and I try to upload as much as I can but I'm just busy and it's uh, it can be a little bit a little bit too much at times but I'm not moaning I'm doing it because I enjoy it so yeah as I said uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the like button um, and as always ride safe keep the sticky side down and until next time I love you all.